Mohammed Mustafai, an Iranian human rights lawyer, has fled Iran following a death threat that he had received and an arrest warrant, a politically motivated arrest warrant that he faced at the same time as his wife and brother-in-law were arrested. Having arrived in Turkey illegally, uh, unable to obtain an entry stamp, Mohammed Mustafai was an illegal migrant in Turkey and was detained for several days with the intervention of the international community, in particular the European Union and uh, the government of Norway, and with the facilitation of the Turkish authorities and UNHCR, he was able to travel relatively speedily onto Norway. Mohammed Mustafai is a human rights lawyer and has represented tens of cases of vulnerable people in Iran, not least uh, juvenile offenders, those people who'd been convicted of a capital offense while under the age of 18, and a number of women who have faced stoning sentences, uh, such as Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani. Now, in the case of Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani, luckily, she has another lawyer, a lawyer based in the city of Tabriz in western Iran, who was summoned to Tehran last week, on last Thursday, and made a request for a judicial review of the case. The judicial review is what Mohammad Mustafai did best. It was one of his, his main techniques in defending the vulnerable in Iran. It remains to be seen if that judicial review will be accepted, will be uh, granted by the Supreme Court. If it is granted, the, the case of Sakine Mohammad Yashtiani could be reviewed in full. Mohammad Mustafa's wife, Fereshte Halimi, was released on Saturday. Her own brother was released a, a couple days previously. They, uh, the, his wife is thought to have a Norwegian visa and is expected to travel with their daughter, Parmido. Uh, who's seven years old, to, uh, to Norway in the coming, in the coming weeks, um, if not sooner. We are very hopeful that the Iranian authorities will not uh, try to, to prevent her from leaving, make her uh, mamnul khuruj forbidden from leaving, and that she will be able to rejoin her, uh, her husband in Norway. Amnesty International has worked with uh, Mohammed Mustafai for a number of years on some of the cases that he has been working on. Uh, his loss to Iran, to the judicial system, to the promotion and protection of human rights in Iran is palpable. It's a very important loss. Uh, and our attention now turns to the Bar Association, to the activist lawyers, the, the human rights activists who have been facing months upon months of, uh, of, of persecution in Iran. We remain concerned for them and we will continue to document further acts against human rights defenders in Iran.